our wing pad house. Huh, it's really dark in here. I don't do well in dark. Like I said, no one's here at the moment. Maybe they turned off the lights to conserve energy? Doesn't matter, let's just look for clues. Right, clues, let's do this. These are probably the sharp beak. Letter with red envelope. Dear Talon, thank you for coming to our show next last week. We are pleased to inform you that you want a free day with me, Nancy. Please meet me at in Amber Park at exactly midnight. Remember to be alone, as this date is to be solely between you and I. Don't be late. Nancy. That's annoying. What's that? You found a suspicious, suspicious letter. What room was it? Town room, huh? I thought that place would be a little too, a little too obvious to check. Well, might as well see what that's about. Go look for other clues while I investigate. Locked. Any renovations keep out. It doesn't get any more obvious. This is a trap. Could find anything in the top right room. In fact, they don't seem to have a whole lot to look around here. Does that come off as a little weird to you? I feel like this place would be much messier if it was owned by a couple of school kids. Wait, you actually found something useful? <laughs> yeah. That's one point for us then, right? Let's celebrate just yet. Hey, what? Don't scare us like that. Sorry, but I had no choice. I couldn't risk walking over here. Huh? Oh, why not? Someone's here. Oh, what? Someone's here? I thought you said this should have gone well. If this is on should, I implied I could go wrong, didn't I? I was able to sense them with my mind until they got exceptionally close. I don't know how they managed to sneak up on me and my Pokemon, but they did. Well, what do we do now? I can use my Alkazam to teleport us out, but I'd rather not do that. You two can leave if you like, but I don't think you. I don't expect you to stay and risk anything. I'm not going anywhere. Are you nuts? I'm gonna let you stay here and get yourself into trouble you can't get out of. Kiwi, you really stay with for me? Of course I would. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Let me just concentrate. I can view them remotely if I j can just concentrate. Huh. So this is the the pre. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me a second. Uh, so this is the Brad's place. That's what the boss told us. And this place is supposed to be empty, right? Yeah. Everyone who usually resides here is at U Access U High University due to files week. So we should be in here clear to look for around for clues. After we're done with that, we're going to head straight back to base. Got it? Got it. Let's get over this. Looks like I'm not the only one who did their research. Huh? Are people are here to investigate? It should be good then, right? We should probably team up and look for clues together. No, not with these people. They're Blade Star grunts. Blade Star? What are they doing here? To find clues about Talon, or so I assume. Well, what do we do? We can escape when they are in other rooms. Let me check which room they're in now. Hey, check this out. What's that? Not exactly sure, but it looks really important. Let's take this back to the boss and see what she says about it. Alright, let's keep looking. What's the matter? Slight dents in our plans. Looks like they found something really important next door. Well, that's too bad for us. We should just leave. No, I'm not leaving. I want what they found. Are you sure about this, Lavender? Look at it this way. Blaystar found something incredibly important. I don't know about Blaystar myself, but I feel better if they if I had whatever they found. Who knows what they can do with such information? Sorry, but I feel to take such bold risk. But, but going after them is as bold as it gets. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps it is. Maybe I just contradicted myself then. Lavender. <laughs> so here's the plan, Nexus. Alakazam has helped me examine the aura of you and your Pokemon. It comes with the conclusion that we have the highest probability of success if we team up. Let's combine our strengths and put those Blaze Star Grunts out of service. Gonna kill them? I'm not gonna kill them! 
I'm just gonna hopefully make sure they do they sleep for a while and hopefully I guess I'm psychic won't hurt them too much. Let's see. Anyway, we don't have a lot of time to act quickly. We have to act quickly. We don't have a lot of time. That is them. Huh? There's more of you brats running around. That's this place was supposed to be empty. Don't worry, we're just as disappointed. We're here to take whatever you found for yourselves. What'd you find anyway? Why if I take a quick look? What? That's not even your business. How do you know all of that anyway? Sorry, but questions aren't being accepted at this time. You won't give us what you found? We'll take it from force. Alright. Oh my goodness, you're level 72. You had to go for a... Uh, okay. Wait, what? Carnivine's a dark type. Stuff just get out. This is really bad. Oh no, we lost. We we're gonna tell the boss. Okay, I'm Alakazam, you psychic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice job, Huey. A few more hits like that, and you'll gain some muscle in no time. See ya. Hello. Ooh, new follower. Who is it? Seal for mom. Thank you for thank you for following me. I don't even know why you would follow me, but you did. Thank you so much. I guess I'm your magnificent. Please return. Hey, do not ignore me? He protect. He attack. Most importantly, he wants his money back. Hey, that's how it works. Here it is. What is it? Huh? It's just being some brochure or a show being hosted at Magnolia Theater. Hey, Kimmy, what's so important about some stupid brochure? Hey, right, I think I'll take it all that back. There actually may be something here we can use. Remember that red envelope you found in Tyler's room? It mentioned a date with someone named Nancy. On this brochure, it mentions a show hosted by the same Nancy and a special guest. The talent received a letter from someone who hosts shows at Magnolia Theater. Okay, well, what do we do with this information? Well, we could, huh, looks like this brochure comes with five free tickets. We're not charging people for watching the show? Uh, so, this might sound like another bad idea, but maybe we should go and see what this whole show is about. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Not a good idea, but we're not going to get anywhere else doing nothing. If something is ter terrible is happening at this show, then we have to see for ourselves. If things go wrong, I can use my Pokemon to get us all out of here, all of there in one piece. Eh, Pokemon Sword Shield was okay. I sold it for double the price. Hey <laughs> hey. Besides, I always wanted to go to one of these kind of events. Hmm, well fine. I don't like it, but I'll go as well. Let's go then? Hold on. What are you doing? I'm calling the cops. We can't just leave these Blaze guns sitting here. No, just wake up and tell their boss what happened. Wait, what we get arrested too? We're not exactly residents of this home. They would arrest us if they were caught. We will have to make it known that we were here at all. We just had to lie and say that we saw Blaze Star guns headed to the right wing penthouse. And then, sure, they'll take care of the rest. There, we should get going now. We don't want to be here to for when they show up. Let's get out of here. So, we actually learned quite a bit from that little investigation. I'll be. 
a little more involved than I would have preferred, but fruitful nonetheless. So we're heading to Magnolia Theatre now? That's correct. The Magnolia Theatre is hosting another show soon. Where's the theatre again? I believe it's in the shopping district, which is east from here. Just walk down the road, you'll be there in no time. Gotcha, let's go. Alright. What's up, bitch? Lexus, you made it just in time. Looks like the show's about to start. You know, I don't think I've ever been here before. They usually do talk shows and things like that here. I can't imagine that it'd be something you'd be interested in, Huey. You'd enjoy it more if it was something over the top action movie, right? But it's like you know me like a book. You're amazing, Lavender. <laughs> we should go. We should save Nexus the uncomfortable uncomfortableness of being a dirt wheel. Oh yeah, sorry Nexus, love you. Yes, yeah. Dayton. Today? No, we're not. Yeah, we're just good friends. We should go. Okay. Please enjoy your show. Yeah, they're definitely dating. He said they did stuff like talk shows here, right? Usually, I don't... But I don't think this is going to be your usual talk show. What gives you that impression? Nothing but a hunch. Not reliable, but I'll just pay attention and make sure we don't miss a single thing. Attention guests. The show is about to begin. Please keep Pokemon confined into Pokeballs. Keep all electronic devices off or put them on silent. Thank you. Remember, be attentive. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Thank you for coming. Yes, welcome everyone here. Thank you all for coming. Yes, what a beautiful crowd we have today. Just lovely. We will go about our normal business today. But first, I want to introduce you to a very special guest. Please come out and say hello to our audience, uh, Nexus. Wait, that's... Uh, uh, hello everyone, how's it going? I don't know, there's no need to be shy. Please forgive them everyone, this is their first time being on stage. Yeah, I'll get better at this, I hope. <laughs> and aside, we'd like to announce that the special event with last week's winner went flawlessly. Over Before we start today's show, we'd like to announce the winner for this week. Now let's get a good look at our audience today and we'll see which lucky soul wins the raffle. Let's look and look... Oh no. I don't know, Nexus less oh knowing and more. Cause... Hey, mom. Look at the audience in the front row. Huh? Hey, 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 hey! B. But they're not supposed to be here. What do you do? I'm very sorry, everyone, but the show is being cancelled due to unforeseen circumstances. What? I said work for this! Can't do this, we spent so much on these tickets. Yes, yes, I'm very sorry, but we're going to end the show a little early tonight. Please remember the tickets are non-refundable. Thank you, and have a good night. <sighs> Damn, that was too close. But that's where the fun comes in, right? No, Cosmia, I don't want to do this anymore. Why are we doing this? Many times I told you not to call me Cosmia when I'm in out of the skies. But fine, if you're so inclined to, I can at least show my true colors. Why don't you show yours too? No, that's right, you can't. You're stuck like that, so shut your mouth. God, you're so annoying, Comet. Such an annoying brother you are. Did you hear me? I heard you loud and clear. Brainless, completely brainless. Whatever, our time here is up. We can't. You can't keep pretending to be dead bitch and mutopath path anymore. You just gotta get our asses caught. Not cool. What am I gonna do? Just change. Just remind me that I couldn't... You know it's not that easy, Cosmia. You know nothing but that easy, Cosmia. I don't care if it's easy or not. Choose another look or I'll kick your ass. Simple. After you do that, we can proceed to step two with our plan, remember? Just endure my annoying attitude for just a little while longer, and we're out of danger zone, kid. Heck, if you're tempted to, we can even leave me forever. Well, y'all know how dependent you are. Alright, let's leave. No need to stick around here anymore. So, anyone want to talk about what just happened? There was another Nexus on the stage. But why? Nexus, do you know anything about this? Hmm, I didn't think so. Just because... 
Don't, just don't look at me. I was just asking. This didn't go so well. You didn't even get to see the whole show. Is that Nexus and they ditched the entire thing? Maybe the fact that they ditched is important? Yeah, it's suspicious. Very suspicious. We should go find the others and tell them about this. We should go tell the others about this. Why you tell me that she was thinking about taking the group to Mika's cafe? She's most, she's most likely there with the rest. Perfect! Let's make our way there now. Stop right there. What have you three done? What are you talking about? The show ended abruptly the moment Nancy saw you three. But her reaction is obvious that you three clearly interrupted her in some way. By the looks of it, the culprit is clear. You there, the shabby looking one behind Huey. You know my name? Be quiet. You will not be. You will not speak unless spoken to. You clearly look like Nancy's child, Nexus. Yet, you're in the audience, not the stage. Why are there two of you? Who are you to talk to us in such a manner, anyway? Why not obligate to answer any of your questions? My name is Thomas. Thomas Blakery. You will remember that name. Thomas Blakery. Aren't you the next heir to the Blakery Foundation? No, I'm not. That title goes to my stepsister, Saki Blakery. Aren't you the older? Aren't you older than Saki? Why aren't you the heir of Blakery Co? I'm not having this conversation. It isn't about how great I am. You will do well to learn your place, wench. Hey, who the hell do you think you are? I told you who I was already. I told you you will remember my name. Well, I don't care. Don't you dare talk to Lavender that way. And what are you gonna do? You're just some poor boy who couldn't afford to stand on the same sidewalk as me. Why don't you do something useful for once in your life? Let's start with throwing yourself over a bridge. Who knows? Maybe after you're gone, Rune may come out of hiding. Then she killed herself after knowing she failed to do something significant with her worthless. How dare you defile my face? How dare you disrespect Rune? Be glad I'm feeling merciful. My Alakazam would not have acted as such. Won't you dare threaten me, creature? You will pay for this, Lavender. Huey, are you alright? I'm alright? Are you alright? You just slapped Thomas Blakery, one of the most powerful people in Grand Dream City. I did, didn't I? Oh well, I suppose I'll pay for that one later. No, you won't. Next time, I'll protect you. Don't be silly, Huey. I don't need anyone's protection. Besides, I would have never done something so rash without you here. You gave me strength. <laughs> let's head to. Let's head on over to Mika's cafe. That's where you said Rodia and the other guests may be at the moment, right? Yeah. There's no need to run, Lavender. You'll trip and hurt yourself. So. I will not comment. Please enjoy the show. So I'm we don't have full nights. This is our first. Please enjoy the show. Man, this is gonna be good. I'm telling you this right now. Well, it's about time. Where have you three been? We were all fed up with waiting, so we came here ourselves. Sorry, Rodia. It was my fault. No, it was my fault, too. I agreed to help her with something. Guys, relax. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, Cassandra called and told me that I had to fill out some paperwork for the festival. So I'll be leaving you all for a little while. Just don't get in trouble, okay? Yes, Rodeo. Good. I'll be back. Hey. Hey. Hey, they finally made it. Hello, everyone. My name is Lavender, psychic leader of the Grand Dream City. Oh, uh, you use psychic Pokemon. Sorry, but we can't be friends. Huh? Why not? Did I offend you? Nah, I like kidding because I love poison types. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's a relief. Who are you then? Venom, the poison type gym leader. White kid girl is Aaron. White haired boy is Kanan. Blonde haired girl is Melly. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Nexus, Aaron was just about to tell us more details about Lita. Don't get your hopes up because I got nothing. Lita, she really pisses me off sometimes. I just don't understand how you can stay put. You test of her. I'm not allowed back into the house until I find her. I checked the entirety of Route 7, 8, and 9. 
Ugh, I'm just out of ideas now. Where could she be? Excuse me, but who's Alita? She's a mutual friend of Nexus' group and mine. At this point, I'm thinking I'm using the term friend quite loosely. When did you lose her? She, was, she wanted to check something on Route 7 and somehow we got separated. I honestly don't think how it happened. I spent I was spending the whole time looking for her. I understand how you feel. Huey and I are also looking for someone we lost. So I've heard. Rune was her name. Yeah, she was my sister. Sorry to hear about her disappearance. Hopefully you guys have more luck than me. That aside, Huey, Nexus, and I have someone, something we need to share with you all. Something to share? What's up? You're lo looking for stuff regarding to Talon's disappearance. While on our investigation, we figured out that Talon visited the Magnolia Theater the day before he... Yeah, but anyways. We went to the same church he went to and... The show was hosted by some woman named Nancy and someone who looked like exactly like Nexus. So it looked exactly like Nexus. Nancy, wasn't that the name of your mother? Oh my. This explains what happened at Grand Dream Station. When we were getting our vaccinations, the lady working there said she already gave Nexus their dose. When she thought that because she thought Nexus' doppelganger was the real Nexus. That was the case, that and it seems quite likely. Excuse me for interrupting, but what does this show have to do with Talon? Right, we found a letter that told him to meet with Nancy at Amber Park at midnight. At exactly the spot where I found him encased in stone. Aha. Uh -huh. So he actually went out to Amber Park at midnight because a letter told him to do so. What an idiot. A bit can't get any more obvious than that. Are you kidding? Well... Excuse me, I'm sorry to intrude, but... I can help but hear that some of you attended a show at the Magnolia Theater. Yes, that's correct. Hey, I just wanted to know if I can get an interview with those that went. I'm a journalist, you see. I tried to write a column of on the Magnolia Theater's rip. You want to interview us? Yes, if that's if that would be alright. Uh I suppose we could. Um, not to be rude, but I'm kinda of in the middle of some wait a minute, it can't be. Um madam, something wrong. It is. Valerie, is that you? Valerie? What are you talking about? Ah, you have heard of me. So it's word of my work fly starting to fly around. What are you talking about? Did you recognize me? Venom, please calm down. You, I think you have the wrong person. I don't know who this person is. Wait, that is Valerie. Um, so about that interview. You really don't recognize us? Did you remember Mason, Adam, Saki? You had to remember us. I'm sorry, but you're asking me so many things I don't understand. Remember y'all, Brayson, who? I haven't seen any of you guys in my life. Does this mean you remember who Saki is? I thought I was the interviewer, not the interviewee. All I know is Saki Blakery, obviously. I don't know her personally. I wasn't know where Saki is. That's enough, you guys are really weird. Forget I asked anything. <sighs> about to have a fucking stroke, I'm serious. That was Valerie. I know it was. But you guys didn't know that. She, clearly, she didn't know you people. You guys are absolutely sure? Took me a second, but there's no doubt about it. That was Valerie. Like, at the same time, it felt like it wasn't. Like I was talking to an entirely new person. This was going on in this city. Whatever it is, it's huge. I've. Going back to my apartment, I have enough for today. I need to think about some things. Guess that's not much reason to stay here then. Listen, I hate to rely on other people, but do you mind if I stay with you guys for the night? Really like to go home, but I really would. But it looks like I'm not even allowed to return, so. You have a ton of rooms to spare. I'm sure we have a space for you, Aaron. If anything, you can take my room. I don't mind taking the couch. I oh, know, that's fine. I don't mind sleeping on my couch. Perfectly fine. In fact, I insist. Come with me and I'll show you where to stay. Really? No, thank you. I appreciate it. Next we're all heading back home for the day. We all have a lot to think about. Perhaps we will leave that for an hour. What? What can someone say about this entire situation? Except confusion. Seriously, that's the only thing I have here right now is pure and utter confusion.
and this this game I swear it's getting more and more crazy <sighs> fight fairy I actually don't know anymore All right, blah, blah, blah. All right, I didn't need the money. Can you not look at me that way? I'm actually pretty insecure. Smooch him, just get out of here. Just get out of here, smooch him. No one wants you. Get out of here. And you let me win. I don't care. I'm having a midlife crisis. Please refrain from using that elevator. That's for my use only. And don't talk to me from here. Okay, how may I serve you? Rival. Yeah, I'm taking as many of these as possible. All right, now presidential. I forgot to get there. Am I bugging you? God damn it! Nope, this is the last episode for tonight because I give up. Ah, <sighs> man. It's sitting on one special attacks that is garbage. My god. Crush chop. Crush chop, that's pretty good. It's closer to becoming what? Son of a bitch! Son of a fucking ass bitch. Seriously, this game sucks. I know it's not Let's Go Pikachu, but I, Twitch doesn't exactly have a label for Pokemon fan games. So I'm just doing what I got. Alright. Man, this is annoying. Okay, after this battle, I'm going to sleep. One of them. Alright, let's kill this one and I'm out. Alright, let's go.